Recently, Meta has started rolling out the brand new quest update to everyone. And while in the grand scheme of things, that's a good thing, for a ton of people, it's actually going to be a bad thing. You see, with the brand new update, a lot of things were also broken. It was a major update from Android 10 all the way up to Android 12, meaning a ton of things changed permission-wise, and a lot of people were left without their custom APKs, and most importantly, without mods. But it's been a while since that's happened, and a ton of bypasses and a ton of updates have come out. And of course, there is a way to stop quest updates, in fact I made a video on it right up here. But not everybody wants to do that, and not everybody can do that. So what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be bringing you a video on how you can mod your quest Beat Saber right there on the brand new quest version. So let's jump right into it. So this is where our issues begin. BMBF, the software that we would normally be using for this, is unfortunately not yet available in a stable build for Android 12. Because the permissions have changed so much, BMBF is not yet ready to run on the Quest on V51. However, there is a different software that we can use. So let me show you exactly how to get everything set up on your V51 Oculus Quest. First things first, you will need developer mode enabled for this. If for whatever reason you don't have it enabled yet, go ahead and enable it. Then you will need side quest, either on your headset or on your computer. If you are using the computer method, connect your quest to your computer via USB Type-C cable. Then jump into side quest. Make sure that your quest is being seen by side quest up in the top left here, and if it's telling you that it's unauthorized, you may just need to accept a dialogue inside the quest itself. Once you have done this and your quest is being seen inside side Side quest, search for Quest App Version Switcher. This is the app that we will be using today. Then click on Download App, Sideload, and this will install the app onto your headset. Now you are free to disconnect the Quest from your computer. If you are using SideQuest inside the headset itself, it's super simple. Launch SideQuest inside the headset and search for Quest App Version Switcher, and then install the app from there, as you would do any other app through SideQuest. Jump into Apps, go to Unknown Sources, and then inside Unknown Sources at the very top, you're going to see Quest App Version Switcher. Quest App Version Switcher will tell you to accept a dialog that is going to show up to allow it to manage files. These are the new permissions for Android 12, so go ahead and let it do that. Once you have accepted the dialog, you will be brought up to a page asking you if you want to mod Beat Saber or something else. Now. This page is super handy. You can actually use it to downgrade Beat Saber right out of the box. So what you want to do here is press login, log into your meta account as it will require your tokens in order to be able to downgrade the app right there inside Quest App Version Switcher. However, this didn't actually work for me. And if for whatever reason you get the same error message that I'm getting, let me show you how I got past this step. First of all, uninstall any current version of Beat Saber that you have, as you cannot downgrade APKs if they have the same signature. This will make you lose any progress you have in the game, so make sure to back up your game before in case you want to restore that later. Then go to this page, which I got from the Quest Beat Saber modding discord on your computer, or on your quest. So first let me show you how to do this on your computer. Sign in to your meta account inside the browser that you're using. Don't worry, you're signing directly into the meta website, meaning you're not actually giving out any information to any third parties. Once you have signed in to your meta account, select the app that you want to downgrade, for us that's Beat Saber, and type in the version that you want to downgrade to. For us that's 1.28, as that is the current latest moddable version. Then a prompt will show up asking you if you want to download the latest moddable version, so click on that and then it will want to make sure that you are, as a matter of fact, signed in. If you're signed in, press download. This will download the Beat Saber APK for 1.28 right there onto your computer. Then you will want to plug your quest into SideQuest, and once your quest is detected, press on this button up in the top right here. Then find the APK that you just downloaded and double click on it. This will install the APK for Beat Saber 1.28 on your quest through side quest. Now let me show you how you would do this on your quest. If you followed my tutorial on how to install APKs right here, you would know that you can actually install APKs directly from the quest itself, meaning that you can visit this exact same website on your quest, sign in to your meta account, select Beat Saber on the list, type 1.28 and select download latest moddable version. Then once you've made sure that you are as a matter of fact signed in, press download and this will download the APK for Beat Saber 1.28 onto your headset. Then you can launch a file manager, something like Amaze, find the APK that you just downloaded inside downloads, click on it and install it. There you go. You've now got Beat Saber 1.28 unmodded right there 
on your quest. And remember, this is just if that login method doesn't work for you. If that login method works for you, it'll bring you directly to that page right there inside Quest App Version Switcher. So from here on out, it's all downhill. For some reason, Quest App Version Switcher also didn't recognize the fact that I had Beat Saber 1.28 installed. But don't worry, this is a super simple fix. All you want to do is exit out of Quest App Version Switcher, then enter back into it and press on this button in the bottom. From here, on the tab to the left, you want to go to Mod My Game. Then in the top left, click Change App. Here you want to select com.beatgames.beatsaber. Once you have selected this, you want to Grant Access. So press on Grant Access and Grant Quest App Version Switcher access to use the following folders. So just click Use This Folder as it shows you the different folders that it wants to use. Then wait for a little while and click Patch It Now. This will patch the Beat Saber game with all the libraries needed in order for it to be moddable. This will take a little while, so be patient. Once the process is done, it's going to ask you to start the uninstall of your current Beat Saber version. Press Start Uninstall and then uninstall the title as it's telling you to do so on the screen. Once the game is uninstalled, you want to press Install App. Now, this will at first ask you to allow Quest App Version Switcher to install titles from unknown sources, so you will need to click on Settings and allow it to do that first. Then click the back arrow and press Grant Access. This will send you back to the previous page and then click Install App again. However, this time you should not get any dialogue and you should just be able to press Install. Let Beat Saber install. Your quest is going to complain a little bit, asking you to restore the app because it's unofficial. This is perfectly fine. Just click Close. Now it will ask you to grant Beat Saber storage permission. This is something the modded version of Beat Saber needs in order to be able to see your mods. So go ahead and grant it permission for storage access. Then you can press Continue inside Quest App Version Switcher. It will tell you that it's finished and the game is successfully patched. From here, you want to go to Get Mods and Cosmetics. Then you want to click on Open Beat Saber Mods page. Then from here, you want to press on Download All Core Mods. This will download all the core mods that are necessary in order for the game to be moddable. And this will take a while, so let all of those install. Once that's done, you want to press on Get V51 Custom Types Fix. Once those two are done, you're free to download any additional mods that you might want to download for the game. Once you have all the mods that you might want, now you are free to launch Beat Saber, and all your mods that you have just downloaded should be right there. I know that this isn't as simple as it used to be with BMBF, however the unicorns over at BMBF are working hard in order to get it working with Android 12. And until they get it working, this method works, and it works just fine. You can download all your mods that you want through it, and then you can download any songs that you want through Beat Saber itself. So there you guys go. That's how you can currently mod your Beat Saber game on Android 12, on V51, on your Quest devices. Hope that could help. So there you guys go. That is a nice, short, simple little video on how to mod your Quest new Beat Saber. And yes, I know things are still a little bit more complicated than they used to be. However, BMBF is working on a non-nightly build of BMBF for the brand new update. However, for those of you that can't wait and want to be modding right now, at least there's a way out for you. And you can keep your custom songs and your Beat Saber mods right there on your Quest on the latest update without having to worry about blocking updates or not updating. And I think that's really good. Either way, though, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope it could help you guys out. If you liked it, please do leave a like. It costs you nothing and it helps the channel out a lot. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. But let me know why down below. If you guys are having any issues whatsoever, I'll leave a link to our Discord down below as well as the Beat Saber modding Discord. And feel free to at me if you need any help. Thank you so, so much to everyone supporting this channel. All the lovely names that are going off to my right right now are my Patreons. And honestly, you guys are helping me out so, so much right now. So much love. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.